how to find the angle when given a point that's in quadrant 2. Alright, I'll read the problem for you. It says, given the point, find the corresponding angle formed by the negative side of the x-axis. Alright, so step 1 is very simple. We just plot the point on a coordinate plane. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay, now in the beginning it makes it a lot easier if you draw a corresponding right triangle. Alright, so notice you always make it go to the origin when we're trying to find angles, unless they tell you otherwise. So we have it here, negative 7, up 6. It also helps if you label the lengths of the sides, right? So I know that this is negative 7 from the origin, this is 6 up from the x-axis, right? Okay, so now we have a triangle, we have our point, it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, then what we need to do is we need to substitute the values that we figured out into the proper trigonometric function. So the angle that we're looking for, remember, we're starting from the origin, we're going here. So it's going to, since it says positive side of the x-axis, we're probably going to find this angle right here that's most likely what they want. Okay, so we're going to assume it's this angle. Okay, so that means they gave us the what? They gave us the opposite and they gave us the adjacent to this angle here, according to my triangle, right? Okay, so that means we're gonna have to use the tangent, right? So I'm gonna take our values, right? So we got our opposite over our adjacent right here, so it's gonna be six over negative seven, okay? All right, now we have to solve using the inverse function, right? Now we need to find the angle. Okay, we can't just, I don't know, like uh, cross this out and say, oh, I don't like this. No, we got to do the inverse tangent to get rid of this so we can swap it. All right, so you get your scientific calculator and you're going to look for something that looks like this, the inverse tangent function. Hopefully you can find that. If not, maybe you can look up one of our other Davitelli videos where we went over that. Okay, so then what you do is you, you're probably going to enter 6 over negative 7 first and then the inverse tangent some calculators you have to do the inverse tangent function and then type this all right and then this will give you approximately 40 and 6 tenths degrees all right so this angle right here is about 40.6 degrees make sure you put the degree symbol and that's all you have to do that completes a problem